Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. I'm Blaze 2K, and Proton 7.0.4 has just been released by Valve, and it comes with it a bunch of new compatibility for games, as well as a bunch of bug fixes. And as we've said it before, the more they update Proton, the more compatibility compatibility we get with more games and eventually the dream is 100% of the Steam library will one day be supported um, and obviously that's going to be more of a challenge as more games get released obviously but Spider-Man remastered came out just recently with full Steam Deck support from day one and that's something I look forward to seeing a lot more so before we get into it please smash the like hit the subscribe click the bell icon and Consider supporting the channel by becoming a member by clicking join. Let's get into it, guys. Steam Deck. So, guys, here is the art. Oh, sorry, wrong page. But here's the article. Proton 7.04 is bringing more compatibility to Linux and Steam Deck. Valve has today released Proton 7.04 after a short period in public testing. It brings further compatibility of Windows games on Linux desktop and Steam Deck. You don't have to do anything special for the update as it will be available in your downloads on Steam as long as Proton 7.0 is installed. Just update it like any other game or application you have in your Steam library and... It's the same way with Linux desktop as it on the Steam Deck, and here is the change log of what's been changed. So let's zoom in. So we've got a couple of changes here. Um, now, at Quirist, my first job is now playable. Trove, that's a pretty big game that's now available. Chuzzle Deluxe, Zuma's Revenge, Karma Flow, the rock opera video game, The Rising of the Shield Hero, We Live the Animation, and This Guy of Five. Um, they fixed an issue with Elden Ring, getting stuck on a white screen on first launch. That's always good. Support or automatically bringing up on-screen keyboard on Steam Deck in the Final Fantasy launcher. Fix Final Fantasy launcher exiting silently when there's not enough space to download the update. Fix Chrono Trigger, Adventure Pals crashing. Down. There's a lot of work that they're putting onto Proton. This is really good to see. Um, they fixed graphical glitches, garbled audio, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. That's really good because I know Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is a big popular game. Um, and yeah, improved video playback for many games that previously required targeted hacks and reduced space used by game prefixes. The file system supports copy and write. They fixed Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 Zombies and Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Multiplayer Crashing, and they're also going to be supporting Modern Warfare 2 when it comes out. I'm just kidding, I wish, I wish. Um, so hopefully um, we get an update to Steam Deck soon um, with Steam OS allowing dual booting a little bit more easier than you'd have to do it now, right? Hopefully if they could just give us some sort of launcher that lets us install Windows, have them dual boot, and be able to sw you know switch to Windows and Steam OS back and forth, that would be my dream scenario but yeah quite a good bunch of updates to proton there um as you know i think proton is like a community supported thing i mean valve mainly supports it and updates it but you know everyone's chipping in and um it's good to see them uh you know you, obviously they're really delving into different games fixing little bugs so they are listening if you have an issue with any game please do report it because your reports are partly why a lot of this stuff is getting updated and improved um and they're really committed to updating it so ideally we've still got a long way to go before we get full compatibility with all of steam's thousands and thousands of games but it's a good step in the right direction um and it shows that they're committed. They're actually dedicating resources to fixing a lot of these little bugs in games. So, anyways, guys, if you like this video, if you love the Steam Deck, please subscribe, click the bell icon, and please drop a like under this video. Anyways, guys, let me know how Proton 7.04 is working out for you. Has it fixed any issues that you were having? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, like I said, I'm Blaze2K. Have a wonderful day. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.